Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veterinary Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Puff Adder Build a Figure Waves Marvel's Orb. I don't know a whole lot about this character, but I do remember seeing him in a couple of recent comic books with the uh, Universal um, Super Villains and whatnot. Um, trying to take, go back in time or go across universes to destroy the Avengers. And this guy happened to have, uh, he had in his possession the Eye of the Watcher, which they. Uh, took back from him, I believe it was the Source Supreme or Doctor Doom Supreme maybe that uh took the orb or took the eye back from the orb and whatnot. So a lot of cool stuff going on in the comic books right now that I'm missing out on. But I try to keep up as much as I can. Anyway, let's take this guy off a stand here. Before we get into it guys, gotta let you guys know that the test raffle is in full effect for the Marvel Legends Deluxe Iron Man. Brand new sealed in package. I have a few of these. So, raffling off one for you guys uh, through my cash app. So, guys, if you want to buy a ticket, go ahead and buy a ticket for $2 a piece at the uh, cash app that will be in the description and tags. Send so your name, uh, the amount of tickets you're trying to buy, and a code word that will be between me and you so that way I can confirm that it is you. Any code word of your choice so that way I know that I'm sending it to the right guy and not just some random person that happens to have the same name as you. And so, yeah, let's get into it, guys. Got a nice looking uh, windowless package here. Artwork right there on the front of the figure. Got some nice comic book style artwork of the figure, of the character on the side right there. Got the build a figure right there and a list of names of the figures you need to buy in order to build this build a figure. I kind of prefer the pictures on the old ones. There's a nice little mock up on the back of the figure and its accessories and what it comes with. And other than that, not a whole lot else going on with the packaging. So let's bring this guy a little bit closer. And first things first, I do want to kind of say that it is a bit of a a bit of a bummer, and at the same time, a bit of a, ref a refreshing kind of breath of fresh air, kind of that they took it back to the Bucky Cap mold with this figure. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in just a second. We have the Bucky Cap from back in the day that they completely used as inspiration for this figure, as far as the leg sculpt the uh, buccaneer kind of boots right there shoulders arms everything is pretty much like just reused from the bucket cap mold from back in the day ironically they have a new bucket cap getting ready to come out so that's interesting that they went for that choice but i guess it's a way of kind of saying that the bucket cap mold is still uh relevant to today's uh set of figures coming out but it works for this guy. I think it works. He's not that big of a guy, um, so he doesn't kind of just. He's not big. He's not that much of an eyesore or anything like that with this mold. But it does. I feel like fit the character. And go ahead and compare him with the um, other figures I have reviewed from this wave already. You have the uh, Marvel Legends Wonder Man, Yelena Belova, and the Extremist Armor Iron Man. So far, not looking like a bad set here. Um, definitely appreciate the uh, lineup. I like it when they do kind of like a random mix-up, a random mashup of characters for a build-a-figure line. But at the same time, I don't sneeze or get upset when they do like a just a core concentrated line of figures or characters for like one build-a-figure, and all the characters kind of just related to them. And as far as accessories go, he does come with his uh, blaster. He does have right here in his hand already. And he comes with the right arm of Puff Adder with the right hand. Well, the extra hand anyway. And let's get right down into it. Let's take this uh, blaster right of his hand. Take a close, little closer look at this guy. Paint looks pretty good all the way through. Nice sculpting, like I said. It is the Bucky Cat mold being brought back to life or having breath breathe back into it. Not a bad look overall. Like I said, you don't really need much for this guy, I don't think, anyway. Um, I'll have to look up this character, read into his background a little bit more. Or I'll look up a video on him. To get more familiar with the guy, but he, like I said, I, did, I do remember seeing him in recent com comics, so I guess, or I suppose he is still pretty relevant. Anyway, and uh, so, the head or eye can look up about that far. Looks down about that far side to side turning force 
on an older neck joint so you don't get a whole lot of tilt here in, in there but shoulders can move up to the sides that far down that far all the way around biceps swivel double joint elbows that stop right there pretty much wrist swivel with back and forth motion in the hands you just get a nice ab crunch as a, of course with the bucky cap mold crunches back forward that far waist cut legs cut out the sides that far a little bit tight on this side kicks to the front back just a ways upper thigh cut double joint knees have been in that far boot cut and uh, ankle pivot as well as up and down motion in the foot I paused for a moment for a second there because I just thought of the name of uh, swashbucklers that's what I kind of think that's what I kind of remember it was the name I was going for for earlier not really buccaneers but like the swashbuckler kind of boots right there so forgive me for that but yeah other than that not a whole lot else going for on for the figure his belt is made of like of course a soft plastic so you can move around of course but it doesn't really get in the way of anything but other than that yeah pretty cool looking figure uh, definitely think that the he does though very rare with the setup like I said or with the set anyway glad to have him in my collection for about 22 to 23 bucks wasn't that bad bring these guys back in and yeah guys as I mentioned before uh, get out the cash app for a chance to win and if you guys aren't interested feel free to share with your buddies anyone that doesn't have the deluxe armor Iron Man uh, that may want it so uh, because they may want an opportunity or a chance to win gotta win and only way to only way to win is to play guys so go ahead and buy a ticket um like I said before in a previous video I believe no one has bought any tickets at the posting of this video yet so you guys just buying one ticket would put you pretty much in the running to win almost instantly and I'm pretty sure this guy will probably make a nice little addition to your Iron Man collection so go ahead and subscribe for me please help me out the more you help me out the more I can do for others hit the like button share your thoughts after the video um, hit the notification bell so that way you guys will be kept up on everything and in the loop about more videos or updates to the raffle program and yeah as always I appreciate y'all for coming by stay safe out there later